G'day guys, it's Ben from Snowies here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Darchi Cold Mountain sleeping bags. There's been a lot of questions online, so that's what we're here to do. Uh, basically, there are five bags in the range. You've got the canvas range where you've got the 1400 and the 1100 wide bags. And then in the synthetic range, you've got the 1400, the 1100 and the 900 range. So, let's get straight into it. Down here on the ground with me, we've got two types of bags. Uh, on my right here, we've got the canvas bag, and on the left here, we've got the synthetic bag. So let's talk a little bit about the differences first. Uh, firstly, the sizing. Right here in front of me, we've got the 1100 millimeter wide bags. All right, so these are kind of like the king single bags. The bags, I guess, that for those of you that are looking for a bit of extra room, or if you want to keep your relationship nice and close, these will be a fantastic bag for those. All right, then you've got the 1400 bags available in both models. They're kind of considered our double bags. All right, so really great for getting you and your partner into, especially if you're like my wife, uh, loves to have a bit of a cuddle during the night. And then you've got the synthetic bag in the 900 wide. So that's kind of, the, you know, just the straightforward single bag. The other difference is, is that the canvas is rated to minus five degrees, whereas the synthetic bag is rated to minus 12 degrees. So a lot warmer, all right? And the other thing is that the canvas bag is just a little bit heavier. Let's talk about the similarities though. Uh, the similarities are that they're both 230 centimetres long, big enough to fit anyone uh, pretty much into these bags. The other one is that they've both got hoods. So you can see here at the top, nice round curved hood in both of them, keeps all that warmth in during the night. Really big benefit of these bags, which is quite uncommon in a lot of bags, is that they've got dual zips. So you can see here, you've got the zip on this side, you've also got the zip on the far side. That makes it really easy to get in and out of the bag and just makes convenience for, you know, just basically existing in the bag. You can adjust it as you want during the night, depending on how warm or cold you get. Uh, what's really interesting to note is that the canvas bag, obviously canvas on the outside, the liner though is flannel, all right? So it's a really, really comfy bag. It resembles, I guess, that Duna type feel that you get at home. The synthetic bag, you've got the polyester here on the outside, all right? And then you've got the silk liner. The, I guess the difference mainly to be noted is that the canvas bag is a much more durable bag. You can throw this one in the washing machine, it's a bit rougher and tougher, whereas the synthetic one needs to be a little bit more gentle. The upside though, as I mentioned before, is the synthetic is a much warmer bag. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is gonna jump inside one and just to sort of give you a bit of an idea about what it's like to be inside of the bag in terms of its space, you know, ease of access, everything like that. Let's do it. So, the canvas bag, let's go with this one. You can jump inside pretty easy. As I said, you've got those dual zips. So all you need to do, throw your shoes off. In we go. Now the beauty here, you just zip them up as far as you want, all right? So maybe you don't want to be tucked in nice and tight all night. So you can just zip them up a little bit halfway, uh, no worries. Or if it's a super cold night, you can zip them all the way to the top. Then, as I mentioned before, you've got the beauty of these drawstrings, all right? So, once you're lying in there, you just pull, and as you can see, it pulls it nice and tight against my chest. And then, there's a second drawstring for the hood. So, Pulling that again, and as you can see, keeps it nice and tight right across the face here. Just gonna make sure you don't get tangled up in them. All right, and then keeps it nice and warm right throughout the evening. Really cool feature of these bags. Likewise, in the morning, super easy to get out of. You just undo the drawstrings, all right? They just pretty much push open like that, pretty straightforward. And then, just grabbing the zips, and away we go. Now, the other cool thing that I didn't mention before was that you've got these really cool uh, security pockets. So if you've got a phone or something like that, you can stick those in there during the night, all right? That keeps it nice and close to your chest whilst also ensuring that you don't lose it or someone, you know, one of your mates doesn't flog it during the night and start taking Facebook photos of you, anything like that. All righty guys, so here we are at the pack down stage. I've now jumped out of the bag and it's time to go home. All right, so we're gonna start with the synthetic one first. So what we start with by zipping them up, all right? Keeping it nice and tight. 
Now the benefit of the synthetic one is that we can just stuff that one into its stuff sack. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. The stuff sack that Darchi give us is really is a really good bag, real strong. All right, and so all you need to do, grab the end. All right, and start by just ramming this one straight into the base of the bag. This is the hardest bit, just getting it into that bottom of the bag. And then once we're going, all it is a case of is just continuing just to stuff that bag in. We want to be pushing all that air out of the bag. It doesn't have to be neat or tidy. In fact, you don't want it to be neat and tidy, making sure that you know, every time we pack it away that we're compressing it in different ways so that it doesn't ruin the insulation of the bag. As you can see, pretty easy. All right, now that we're at this stage, you just want to hold the bag between your legs. Keep that fist just pushing in on the bag here. All right. And then just pulling that drawstring nice and tight. And then bring that toggle down to lock it off. All right. From that point, we just grab the compression sack. That comes over the top like that. All right. And then if we want to get the bag nice and small for when we're traveling with it or just want to keep it packed nice and compact. We just put a knee on the top and as you can see all that air is being pushed out and then just a nice gentle pull on the straps and there we go. Synthetic bag all done, ready to go home. Let's move on to the canvas bag now. All right, so same again. Zipping up those sides. We'll bring it around in front of me. Now the important thing with the canvas bag is because it's a little bit bulkier, we just want to make sure that these straps are at the bottom, which they are, all right? Which means we're going to start rolling from the top. So the first thing we do, we fold it over in half, pretty straightforward. Then starting here at the hood end, we just start rolling away. All right. Again, like with the synthetic one, doesn't need to be any kind of major physical exercise. We just want to be keeping that as tight as we can but as you can see, not working too hard here. Now we get to this point, we want to bring these straps over the top. So bring the long straps over. All right. And then we just keep rolling it over like that. All right, so we take one strap and then you grab the other end where you've got these two D loops. All right, with these D loops, you just want to feed the strap through both of them. And then come back through the middle like that, and then just pull it off nice and tight. What these straps do is just keep it nice you know, together, all right, so that when we go to our bag. Now, our bag here's a little bit different. It's just a zip bag, all right? So we just put it into the end where there isn't a zip. All right, where we got, got all the branding there. And then bring it right around to the other side. Make sure your straps are tucked in. And then as you can see, it's a pretty generous bag. Very easy to zip up. That's the canvas bag done. Thanks so much for watching. That's all we've got for today. But if you've got any questions, feel free to jump online or give us a call and we'd be happy to answer them. Don't forget we offer free shipping Australia-wide. Until next time, it was great having you here.